Hello, it's Randy Duck, and welcome back for another episode of Decent Defeats. This time featuring the Waffle E100 and the AMX 13105. Um, now, just quickly before we get into video, I just wanted to give you an update. Um, I've had a lot of you guys uh, messaging me, um, asking me to um, you know, apply for the CC program. Um, I just wanted to give you an update and just say I have applied um, to become a CC. Um, and yeah, so fingers crossed, I'd, I'd love to become a CC guy, um, CC, um, because generally it would be an honour to represent you. Uh, chaps, you've, you've obviously shown me an overwhelming amount of support um, since I started this channel, and I cannot thank you enough for that. So regardless whether I get to become a CC or not, um, of course I will still be putting out the videos for you. Um, and again, just thank you, thank you so much. Um, for the support and love you show me, it's been far, far more overwhelming um, and more than I ever expected when I started this channel up. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for that. Um, but on to do the video. Um, so, my last video was in the Waffle E100, um, and I think when I said it, I said I probably would get some more decent replays in this tank. Um, and also, I think I said that uh, Himmel Source would be the preferred map for me in this tank. And hopefully this video goes some, you know, goes away to showing you why. Um, so we're on Himmel Source, we've got the South Spawn, and straight away I've taken the position here just in case I can punish anyone like the Standard B pushing down the train tracks early. Um, and already it started the game. We've only just started. We managed to get on, just pick up a thousand um, damage just like that. Um, so yeah, it's a great start. We're going to hold this location. Um, the threat from this position is that I push too further forward, I could get shot from the hill. So that is something to consider. Um, but I am going to wait here um, just in case because it looks like this E4 might poke round. Um, I'm hoping I'll get a shot in here. I'm struggling with the train a little bit there, so I'll readjust. So I'm going to have an opportunity to, to get a shot into him. We slap one into him, we just managed to avoid getting hit by him because that would have hurt. I don't want to poke that anymore. I've only got one shot and I don't fancy that trade up anymore. And already, you know, I'm, I'm sensing that I could get shot from the hill. So I'm going to pull out that location. You know, we've had a decent start. We've got um, 1,600 damage in. Um, yeah, and now I'm just going to go on a reload. Uh, but I'm not going to sit in that same position because obviously I don't want to get stuck in a situation where I'm on like a under a minute reload and get pushed by E4. So that's not going to end up well for us. So I'm just going to reposition a little bit. Just go a little bit further back. So the time I've got to my new location, I should thereabouts just be reloaded um, and then if this um, E4 whatever then push which I think the E4 might have been destroyed but um, if another tank pushes round we've, we've got an opportunity um, to get some more damage in um, but so yeah I'm just waiting to see, see what we can do um, and see if we can spot anything because so I've been careful because I'm looking at this situation and it looks like we're starting to lose on the banana which is obviously not great for us but I've seen on the little mini map that someone's pushing around this road and I'm hoping I might just be able to catch him off guard because he doesn't know where I am um, I think this is Valor pushing around and I'm thinking if he comes around which he has I'm now more than happy to accept getting shot by this guy if, and see if I can track tra tra all my pen on my shots I get one into his drive he repairs unfortunately I don't pen with that other shot for the drive ball, which is a shame because it would have killed him um, but he does then get taken out by our AMX 50B um, and yes, yeah, so that, that's great. Unfortunately, we are losing this game. Although we managed to you know, take out a couple of tanks, get 3,000 damage, um, you can see it's not looking too promising for us. We've got two enemy tanks coming around our cap. Fortunately, I do have this 50B with me, which is great because like, the potential of both of our clips know that we can, we can take out a, a tank between us very, very, very quickly. Um, so thank you. I'm not sure who this person is who's helping me, but thank you for your help. You definitely did help me here. Um, so I'm just waiting for my reload to go in. Uh, seeing as it's sort of these tanks, I'm hoping I might be able to poke around and take out this TE, this tank destroyer. Um, again, the dangerous tank is not paying attention. Um, I managed to, that's, that's the beauty of this Himmelsworth map because you can wait for them opportunities to poke around. We get shot into a light, we take out another tank, and so quickly we're just taking out two tanks. Well, now this is the danger mode. Uh, we're, we're on a reload, we don't want to get pushed right now, so we're backing up as far as we can. Just so if the enemy force sends us, it's going to take longer to get to them, so that you know, in theory, we're closer to our reload. Um, we, and this is what you can do with Himmelsdorf map, because you can use the buildings to your advantage like this. Um, I'm using a small mini map because at the time, because it's very important that I know 
exactly where the enemy tanks are coming round. And, you know, I'll keep swapping in between the two, that's generally how I like to play, just so I can get an overall of what's going on. As you can see, we are losing this game. We're trying to cap out, um, but to be honest, I don't think it's going to work because the enemy should be able to get a reset, uh, which they do. And now we've been left in an awkward situation. It's a three versus eight. We've seen a CS-53. We was hoping to get two shots into him, but he managed to get one in. We're poking down to see if we can finish him off, but I've got to be a little bit careful. Um, we have now spotted a, um, you know, two heavy tanks in the hill. We're going to hope it's possible to pen all our shots that we kill this 705. He's just aiming to get a shot into us, and we just managed to take him out, putting us up to just shy of 7,000 damage. But we're in a three versus five, and my friend is on the, right on the other side of the map. Unfortunately for me, um, also I'm not the quickest of tanks, um, it does shift a little bit with both the movement equipments on, which it has improved this tank a lot. Um, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get there to help our friendly TD. So I'm kind of thinking I'm going to push down and sort of try and set up an ambush down the banana. So once, unfortunately, this guy's um, s bar has died, there's nothing I can do to have helped him. Um, but I want to be in a position... Um, so I was thinking about sitting in a position so if I push banana, I could get a, a shot in. Um, but I'm sort of caught in the two mines here because I, uh, one of our friendly tanks was pinging the hill. Uh, it led me to believe that maybe uh, the fun piece was sitting up there. Maybe one of the other tanks was sitting up there. Um, well, we obviously know that there was an object 277 sitting up there. At this point, we don't know if he's moved off the hill or not. So I was going to poke up and just see if I spotted him because it's possible like he may, the 277 might come down this way. And if he did, we, if we could take him out while he's not with um, the other three, you know, the other members in the team, if we can catch him separated, we've got a chance of pulling this off. Because if, if I have to come up against all three tanks at once, I won't have the alpha to kill all of them. And I, you know, what will happen is I'll do what I can, um, get some more damage in, but then I will get taken out. So I really wanted to fight them when they're not together. Unfortunately for us, two of the tanks have now got in the cap. We have no choice but to go back for the reset. Um, we should have the momentum to get there because we're going down the hill so we get to our top speed a lot quicker um, and yeah you can see we, we really boosted going down that hill and we should have enough time depending on where they're sitting to get the reset in uh, so we're pushing down here as quick as we can we've only got 15 seconds on the clock we see this 277 we get one into him we get two into him he's on a one shot uh, but then the fun police comes around we take him out now we still can kill this 277 and this is where I absolutely throw the game that one shot there, I should have took more patience. I would have killed him, but then I would have had an, you know, I would have had a chance, a chance at winning this game. As it stands, yeah, I threw the game with that shot. Unfortunately, it is a shame because that would have been some game we managed to uh, go on to win it. But we don't. We still have a good game, don't we? That's what I say. This was this replay is about. Uh, we lost, but it was still a decent loss. It's just gutting. I threw that last shot there, and that was my fault. Um, but we ace tanker on a loss, we've got a whopping sort of 8,500 damage, picked up four kills and yeah, it's like really, a really decent game, a decent defeat. So um, yeah, thank you for watching, we've got one more replay to come, uh, another good game, so stay with us and we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here we are for the second replay in the tier 10 French Tech Tree uh, light tank, the AMX. 13105 um, and here we are on vineyard now just quickly uh, about this tank this is probably I've got a very much a love-hate relationship for this tank um, I probably hate it most of the time but when it works I love it and that's just because this gun I mean it'd be interesting to hear uh, your opinions on the gun um, I just feel like it's such a trolly gun it probably just feels like the the worst gun for trolling you in, in the game. That's how it feels anyway. Um, like in this replay, it doesn't really show that. In this replay, I hit most of my shots, but believe me, the amount of times I've just missed like all three shots of my clip is, is, is crazy. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, be interested to hear your um, thoughts. We pushed up to vineyards. I did push quite um, to an aggressive spot just because this does have one you know, good thing about this tank. It does have a really decent camo rating. Um, but we've quickly found out we have no support, no support, and yeah, we are getting pushed. So if we don't get out of here now, um, we don't react quickly, 
we're going to die, aren't we? We did eat a shot, but it's only one shot. Uh, we're still in the game. We just need to get out of here and hopefully don't take any more damage. We have got um, a lit. I'm just going to wait here, see if we've got any shots on this light tank. Or just before I move, I just want to get a little bit of damage before I retreat. Uh, we've seen an opportunity to get shot into this SG. We get one in, quickly need to get into cover. We picked up a little bit of assistance. And then in a minute, my superb driving skills come into action and we hit this rock. Could have died because of it because of that crash, uh, but we got away with it. Um, and again, I'm just going to see if I can get a shot into this light tank. And we've now hit two out of three, um, which just doesn't really happen. And we're going to go for the third shot. And yes, we get all three shots penetrate. Um, and that's not typical of this tank. It really isn't. Um, but when it does, like I say, when it does work for you, the tank's fantastic. It's just, for me, it, maybe it's just me, um, but it doesn't seem to work a lot for me. I, I often have found that I've got trolled in this light tank. Um, but yeah, um, as you can see, most of the friendly team have gone the other side of the map. Um, and that's kind of put us in a little bit of danger of getting capped out. So. I'm caught in two minds at the moment. I don't want to go too far away from the cap because, you know, the, T, the TDs we do have here, I would like to spot up for them um, so that they can get their damage and, you know, I can get my assistance. Um, we, obviously, I need them you know, more than ever now. I need to work together. I need to keep the stuff lit for them to shoot and, and I need to pen my shots because we are in a little bit of a little bit of a trouble here because there's a lot of stuff moving to the cap um, and, like I say, a lot of our team are not in this this particular battle with this, this part of the engagement um, so it's important that I try and keep them lit up we've done a pretty good job there we're actually we've taken out the their friendly uh, their enemy light tank um, and we've kind of stopped them just jumping in the cap by keeping them lit there unfortunately the position they sort of put me in um, I had to fall back um, because I didn't know if I was getting pushed that TD was put me in an awkward spot um, he has now been caught out in the open um, and we're getting all the assistance which is brilliant putting us just under 2k assistance we've got this huntsman we've gone for one shot we don't pin but we do track him uh, we're just going to try and keep him tracked um, just so to make sure uh, he does get taken out uh, we've put ourselves up to 3000 damage now um, and 2600 assistance and we're just waiting for our team to, to shut down this huntsman it looks like they haven't quite got shots or, or all of them haven't quite got shots or they might be in a reload um, I think I have got an S bar behind me I believe um, but yeah we're just waiting now to try and take him out there we go they're starting to shoot him he should get taken out soon uh, we go for a shot into this um, Polish um, heavy tank and again that's not even fully aimed that one goes in that does not happen all the time uh, this object 77 is ammo racked so we just took a gamble you never know we might have ammo racked him but realistically I wasn't going to pen there um, but I wanted to just dump the, the shots anyway you never know do you um, but yeah I'm going to move forward again uh, it's a fairly close game uh, but I'm just sitting in this does have good camo maybe I can sit in this bush uh, there are tanks behind me um, and if I light them up um, then hopefully they can get taken out I think that object 277 though seems to be very um, I'm not quite lighting them up at the moment but he's in a position where He's utilising his turret armour quite nicely um, and my friendly team were either struggling to get shots at him or struggling to pen him. Um, this Valor's moved into an awkward situation so there is no fun police in this game so he is fairly safe where he is right now. He is hold down and obviously that thing does have a fantastic turret. Um, so he's in a location which is, you know, he's put himself in a location where he's very difficult to dig out i'm always hoping that they're at this point that the enemy team will just go and sit in the cap because if that did happen um they would get taken out very quickly um but unfortunately for me then they're not doing that and they're making life difficult for me um, but i'm still thinking this is where most of my team is um i don't really think I, I kind of think this is the best location for me to be in i get very lucky there that banner goes to shot i'm assuming he was shooting something behind me um, but he doesn't uh, manage to pen me, which is very lucky. Um, we go for a shot now, the, the object uh, 277 percent is itself a shot, um, and we do manage to get one into him, and now we're on the reload. Again, very, very close game. Um, but this just seems to be the location for me to be. We're kind of a little bit trapped. The, the enemy team, because they've won the other side, they've boxed us in in a corner, which is not ideal. That's why you, you really want to, when you're playing this game, make sure you win a side. You know, If you all commit to one side, then win that side. Because if you don't, um, you, 
you're just going to be stuck in a position where you're getting boxed in like it's happening to us. I'm doing my best to try and keep them lit up, but I can't push too further forward myself because you know, I'm only on 400 hit points. Unfortunately, we have lost them hit points early doors. That's really um, it's hurt me in this game. Uh, we've seen this T32. We're trying to get a few shots into him. Uh, we've got one in. We're going to get a second one in. Um, putting us up to sort of 5,000 damage and just shy of 4,000 assistance. So, you know, if we die now, we've had a good game as far as, I guess, marks of excellence are concerned. You know, we've had, we've had a decent game, but there's still a lot of damage in this game, and it's very close. And I always, I know I enjoy these games. Um, obviously, you know, by the title, we know we've lost this one, spoiler alert. Uh, but I'd much rather have a game which is difficult to win and you have to try and you lose than a game where your team's just completely destroyed the, the, the opponent where you've got to win but you've not really worked for it. That's just my um, my opinion anyway. Um, yeah, I, I just like, I'm sure most of us do, we enjoy games where we're close and we get to play because that, that's it's fun, isn't it? Um, I've kind of given up in that location. My, enemy, my friendly team aren't really getting the shots in. They're also not sitting in the cap, so I don't really feel um, that threatened about them capping out. Because I'm thinking I'm quite a quick tank, so you know what? I'm going to pull back and just give them an opportunity to move forward, just in case uh, you know if they get unlit, maybe they will start to progress forward. But um, that doesn't seem to be happening um, at the moment, and we're kind of sort of just stuck in two minds because my, this is where my team is. I don't really want to go wandering off by myself. Um, being only on 400 hit points and just abandoning our team because I guess you know, I am the vision for them at the moment. Uh, they still have the um, the Falcon or the Unskinned Falcon on their team which has great camo um, and I know he's sort of sat in a bush around here and it, it's a little bit awkward because my team are going to get lit if they push through so I kind of do need to keep them spotted but at the same time I'm doing my best but there's, it's, we're stuck in that awkward situation where they don't want to move, um, so what do I do? Do I sit there just wait, hoping something's, something's going to change? I decided that I'm going to change my approach, and, and I'm just going to, I was thinking about starting to go towards their base, and you know we know there's a badger on the team which hasn't been spotted yet, so I'm guessing that badger is going to be located at their base, you know, on the opposite side of this spawn. So that's why I'm kind of thinking, you know what? I've tried my best over there. They're not. I'm not in danger of getting capped out. Let's just try something different before we run run down all the time on the clock, um, and you know it, we end up in a bit of a stalemate situation. Um, so I'm going to go and see if we can kill this badger. That's that's the plan. You know we, we're, we're going to take an educated guess, and we're pretty sure. You know it's not the quickest of tanks. It probably is in this location somewhere. Uh, so that's where we're going. You know it doesn't have a turret. If we get behind him, um, we should be able to deal with him. And there we go, we just saw that tree. I don't know if you saw that, that tree fell down um, and now we know there's definitely a tank here. Um, so we're going round, uh, he's not looking this way, so we're gonna get our three shots to him now. Got one in damaging his engine. Uh, we then get a second one in, then we actually track him in place. Um, and at this point, we're, our team is now shooting him. He's stuck in a very, very awkward position and we're picking up all the assistance. Um, there was also the heavy tank round here, the uh, the free shot autoloader, the can't remember the name, but it's the Unskin Slaughterhouse, um, the one that you know it's, they, they gave away in a WWE event, um, and yeah, we're hoping that we can either light him up because he he would should in theory or so he or she should, should be caught in an awkward situation, but he actually gets lit up, lit up by our friendly team. Now I'm assuming they're not going to be looking this way and I should be able to get around the back of them and get a shot in where they're, when, when they're distracted um, that's just my thought process well, and I come around here but I have to suppose a little bit too much to get a shot in and unfortunately he turns really quickly and then just snapshot me uh, which is uh, it's frustrating um, I mean I could have avoided it if I was a little bit more careful uh, and that probably has that, that's had a serious effect on me um, you know, not winning this game but the most important thing is, if you just remember there, a shot just come in from the distance, from like, I'm guessing, I don't know quite where, but somewhere down the 8 or 9 line, uh, or 0 line, someone's actually just put a shot into me there. And just remember that, because that is quite crucial information. I didn't really register that this at the time, but this is where I think I end up making the mistake, which um, probably cost me the game. Because what I should have done now here, I'm going to go up to this bush to see if I can spot anything. But we don't spot anything, we also don't get detected. 
Now, in hindsight, we knew we had a difficult time earlier around the 1-2 line. I think how I should have played this is I should have gone down the zero line, hugged the edge of the map, and see if we could outspot, which we should have done, unless it's the, T, the, uh, the Falcon uh, tank, which will shoot me from down there. Because that way, if we would have killed him, we could have then come behind them and lighten them up for our team that way and just put them in a situation where they're not used to because they wasn't expecting me to come from that way and I think that's what I should have done and that ultimately in my opinion is why I lost this game so uh, looking back at that it's, it's easy to say now you know I'm my own worst critic um, but when I'm watching the game back I think that's my mistake um, and if I'd done that differently I think that probably I probably would have won the game in, in my opinion if I would have done that or I'd at least had a better chance because at this point I'm on 6,000 damage I just know I get another clip in. Uh, we know that Valor was, or at least the last we saw the Valor, he was very healthy. And I'm thinking, right, let's get my three shots into Valor. That's going to put me over 7k damage. And that's what my thought process at this time. Just get a clip into that Valor, put you over to 7k, um, and then we'll have a great chance of winning the game. And also, I'll end up uh, with uh, you know, a really good game. We've already had a good game, you know. We had 6,000 raw damage, 5,000 assistance, we've got 11,000 combined, so whatever happens, we're a decent game, but we spent a lot of effort into this game, we, we don't really, I don't really want to lose it. Um, I'm trying to go all the way down to this side, thinking I might be able to poke up in the hedges to take out this Object 277, but he gets shut down by our S farm, um, we do lose our TVP um, in the result, and now this is where I could have done with those extra hit points, um, which I lost earlier against the autoloader. Because um, I'm pushing up to this location knowing that there was um, a light tank here before um, and thinking that maybe we'll be able to spot him and our TD will shoot him. But we get lit and there you go. If I had just a little bit more extra hit points so I could afford to take a shot or two from the, from the T92, I would have stayed there. But I'm on a one shot to him and if he just falls sends to me and just snapshots me, I'll die. And this, you know, this, our TDs might not hit him. And that's a shame because I really would, could have loved to have been able to sit there because that would have been you know, different. I would have been able to kill him then um, and made this game so much easier. As it stands, I'm thinking, you know what, I'm going to try and go to the other side of this map um, and you know, try and do what I was going to try and do earlier. But I go aggressively across the middle here, get lit up, and here we go. We find out where the Valor was um, and he shuts us down. Um, so yeah, anyway, that, that, that was the end of this game. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, anyway, I explained why, what I did wrong, but um, you know, we still had a good game anyway. We got two kills, 6,000 damage, 5,000 assistance, uh, picked up the ace tanker. Um, so as always, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, happy tanking. Oh, get